Let's see how we go. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, and just like that, I am taken off of YouTube. Time to go make a new account. Have another twenty-four hour waiting period. Oh my god, I forgot the buttons. Um, okay. gonna let that bush doesn't like black people hang there for a while oh son of a bitch has this been here the whole time i've missed so many of those then They'll go say something to me. You know, I'm seeing a lot of these just like way out of reach. What are those punching cards? Right here, it just keeps doing that. This is what fire alarms do. It's the only way to fight the uh. Yeah. Okay. I told you one of them was gonna do something. <laughs> oh, wait, those are the fire alarms. Okay, I get you, I get you. I was wondering what it was doing up there. So these are bolted to the ground, and I can't pick up those replicating ones, at least I think so, they just keep seeming to, yeah, just keep replicating, get to replicate out the room, yeah, that's, that's clearly the way to do it. <clears throat> Son of a bitch, is that actually the way to do it? Do this one. Uh, what do we got? What have we got for this? Is there? There's gotta be some way to pick those suckers up. So it sure as hell ain't these. I actually don't think there is a crouch button. Pressing everything right now. No, there's no crouch button. We need a tool. Oh, wait, what am I doing? There's the freaking door. Actually, that's a good point. Let's see if we can move the bottom just for goofs. Nah. 
comic fun at all. There we go. So you take like a week off and I'm already not thinking right for it. Oh, here we go. This is the perfect music for the story you're reading. Ariadne Grande. What's next? That's for when she walks into the room. I got nothing for that one. How many of these are there? Oh, there we go. That's that's the theme song I want. Well, see, this, this that just that's not okay. That's just raising more and more questions. It's once again like South Park when Stan, oh, no, was, um, when Randy becomes Lord. like when Windows has an error message. I wonder if I can just dominoes it. Nah. No. <clears throat> Worth a shot. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. <clears throat> Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Unrealistic expectations of doorways. Hallways. That'd be it. Oh uh, god, am I just going to be hearing that all the time now? Like, alarm clocks everywhere? Did it? It's scrolled up now, I can't see it. Is it just blocked or deleted? <laughs> enough of them and you bug the game out so it's not going to do its thing. God, I really should have planned this out better if they're just going to keep replicating. It's a big old snooze button. Yeah, this will be fine. I want that fire alarm. I was gonna say what is it? Like I, I'm pretty sure I did say what is it, but of course you can't actually say it <laughs> or type it. So there goes that plan. Uh, let's see. Knowing you like I do, I'm gonna guess it was just yeah, pretty bad. Just you know, conservative estimate. So that there is what your fire alarms with the bell thingies look like. <laughs> It's just, it's never going to pop up. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I 
I'm so good. Look at me go. Tell me you're not impressed. disappearing. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Tried that, but I never even tried just standing on the bottom. Okay, yeah, doy. Come on, apples. Just make a large enough amount of apples. we got to block that wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At what stage is my game just going to crash? Oh. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> oh, I can't make any more apples. The button's not working anymore to make apples. But I got a golden one. So, worth it. I'm thinking I might have done this puzzle wrong. Can I just push past them? You really can't roll them either. I also can't make any more apples. Um, Actually, hang on. Get back in there. Nope. There goes that plan. <clears throat> hmm. And it's not like even without the fan, I would probably want to be able to get him up that slope anyway. Band. They're really losing their red coloration. What about you? What a year. Hmm. What is it? Really? Warning. 
Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting oh, numerous yeah. spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Thanks. Unused lines of card. Alright. That one's red again now. Why, why do we even have, like, the ropes against the wall? What's the point of that? That's how I'm meant to be solving these puzzles, but it works. Just have a quick look. But, you know, it doesn't look like distance really changes. It's just always going to be smaller than the uh, than the one you're copying off. Yeah, always smaller. Then look at this. Look at these little things. Is that a thing? <clears throat> Let's have a look at the official documents. I need a zoom in function or something. I don't know, it's just the world. No, here we go. Uh, cloud insert. Eggshells. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Banana yellow, Automobile red paint. Yeah. Yeah, I remembered that one after I started talking. I was just hoping that you didn't. Uh, so I looked like less of an idiot, but that didn't quite work out. How long has this been here? Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never huh. been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Okay. Yeah, no, I think this one just shoots out more of these. Oh, good shot, Kirby. Friendly doctor, we'll get through this. That's that's nice. Oh my god, it's nineteen ninety one. So this is what it was like before I was born. Not great. Hello, name is my Pierce Doctor Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader patient years ten development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or luck good. good. Strokes having a Glenn Pierce. Okay, another dream level. That's starting to be worrying if the elevators are going to kill me. Fools, friendly and family produce. <clears throat> well, we got through that one. This game better end explosively. Oh god, it's doing this loading screen again with the parentheses. Parentheses? Oh, that's not right. What the hell's the word I'm looking for? A 
ellipsis. Thank you. Ellipses. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry for using you as my Google machine. But that's what AIs are for. Listen, oh shit. We got a whole new room. And I I heard that. Hang on. That's pretty funny that you just sent me the message by accident there. Does that strike you as relaxing or weird and creepy? I only see one chair. Yeah, before I go on there. About us and our mission. Oh my god, I'm joining Scientology. The worst dream experience you can have. Eh. Guess I'll. Eh. There we are. Oh. Did I do that? Or was it just the time? Can I just walk through this? No, okay, nothing I can do there. Let's hear Stroke Boy. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Okay. I should really have been checking those clocks. I wonder if that time's changed. Oh, that's just a new path out there. Alright, they're back to normal. No more replicators. Or trivels. And this is back to giving me actual cans. Alright, well. You go over there. Whoops. Yeah, I know, right? PT was great, though. I actually still have that on my PlayStation, which I'm pretty happy with since the whole thing got shut down. Never finished it. That honestly scared the hell out of me at times. Um, that, that was, uh, yeah, PT was done well. Well, looks like this is how we're doing it. Before I go in there. Man, I kind of want to go through PT again now. I never did it enough to actually finish it. You know, I'm thinking I made this one a little too big. Just, just that little bit too big. <laughs> oh man, it's like being child again. Wait a second, what? No. Hmm, maybe it needs to be bigger. Bigger. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think that really did much. I don't know, did enough. <clears throat> oh. Deceived. Alright, to the next dimension. I think they're gonna do another horror level. 
It's starting to feel like they're building up to another horror level. Yeah, like, come on. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Right. Everything Forget should you read have that now story. reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Yeah, it's going into the horror movie. Bring on the blurs. Get electrocuted? Nope. Stop the bitch. <laughs> what the? Uh, why? I'm mad that you're making me read that. <laughs> With my own two eyes. Like, that came out of a human mind. This one at each corner. Like, some people should not be allowed to have the English language. I'm starting to think communication is a privilege. small again. Oh, I made it too big. if that viewership ever goes above one person, like if just one poor bastard just clicks on this. You know, random videos, let's see what we can find. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favourite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Nailed it. Don't think of the pink elephant. Don't think of Ariana Grande. Don't think of Ariana Grande. Anything you can take in this room? Ah, oh, son of a bitch, it's the same room on top of itself. For the signs. Ah, oh, 
Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I guess I'll just have to go through the door in the jumping castle then. Nailed it. Oh man, this size distortion is starting to get to me. What? How do I get in here? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Alright. And why are you Kate Upton? Because that's that's the question that that is actually a question that needs answering. Dad, why are you Kate Upton? The people need to know. Stay there, please. We're gonna get this perfectly balanced. Oh, that's not right. What? <laughs> oh, what? What did you... What keywords do you have to search to come up with that fucking monstrosity? Fucking great. <clears throat> like, what, what? No. <laughs> the goddamn meatballs in IKEA made more sense than whatever you're reading. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 I mean, emergency there, protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Like, in all honesty, can you blame Jeff for that one? That's just, no. Oh. Like, that just, that just makes sense.
slowly. Oh, I think I'm being small. Hey, wait, who, who didn't notice though? <laughs> no, but how much do I owe you? Oh god, oh god, oh god. coming out any bigger yeah it really is <laughs> but I need to be a bit oh thanks Selena you're my favorite customer oh hi doggy can I like take anything through this little keyhole Oh, I know what I should be doing. I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> okay, put that there. Except spun around. Yeah, a little bigger. I need to be able to get into it at my monstrous size. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, too big. And began to what on the garbage bag? <laughs> oh no. Because, of course. I didn't really have to ask that one, did I? <laughs> Can I, like, really? No, I can't. You need to get up on there. That'll do. No! Alright, come on, come on. Ah, oh, you fucker. We are so close.
actually, can I just do that? Oh my god, I totally could. What, playing with yourself in a garbage bag? What parties are you going toward? I think I missed. That makes more sense. Look, I'm I'm not gonna judge. You do you do whatever you gotta do in those parties. <laughs> so hang on, wait, did it did it act play with yourself? This needs to be done again. <clears throat> okay. You go there. See, my little brother's never gonna get on this, uh, gonna be able to do this then if I ever wanted to bring him into something. <clears throat> I don't think I can- no, I can't because I can't bring, um, I can't bring items through. Yeah, I can't bring items through it. <sighs> but I guess that might work. Let's do... big. catching it on that ridge. Is there a ridge there? There's a freaking ridge there. Oh, I gotta go around the long way. Can't jump through the thing apparently. You know, it'd have to be really big to be able to jump on top of the thing. Which, I don't think is possible. Oh, uh, oh, I think we got it. I think it's caught. Oh, too damn small though. God damn it, Jeff. Welcome to biology. Actually, what if I just try it from the other side? Get a bit more view there. sure who, who was this story written for that's what I want to know <laughs> actually look at that look at just going for the balance
I'm gonna get this up there eventually. Balance. There we go, that was it. Use the leg. Oh, you fucker, come on. Okay. Next room, giant chessboard. So what happens next in the story? It's that bad. Okay, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> Just in the middle of the street. <laughs> Look, I'm impressed at your valiant efforts to try to, um... Yeah, nah, you know what, screw it, let's find out. Absolute limit. How many are we at now? Ah, oh, the Cardboard Lovers Association. There you go, you might want to tell Wilbur about that. This isn't the uh... emergency exit protocol initiated. Oh, okay. Please prepare to conclude your somnascoped experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error oh. logged by. Orientation protocol. At least that's Stand close by. by for analysis. That's a wonky ass chair. Imagine sitting in that, that just doesn't look right. I just love how you have to have the slash in there for the characters. Hmm. Error analysis complete. More Ikea. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. I feel like that clock might be the same time. Oh, 
No. Just keep following the path. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Oh, that's it. Impossible. Reformulating. Oh. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Mm. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency Thank exit you. protocol has been emergency destroyed. Ugh, fuck me, Dad. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. See the, oh, wow. See, this is the problem with robots. That's the fuck. Tall, girly elephant in the room. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? <laughs> God. Okay. I'm not even getting out of this fucking room anymore. Oh. Okay. Oh no. The haunting alarm. Selena Gomez, the cryptid. Oh my god, what is going on now? Dr. Glenn Pierce, thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. I don't know if I like the fact that there's music now or not.
enjoying this one. This one's uh, getting trippy. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Going for trial-by-fire, huh? What did Jeff heard? Who's Beth now? I 
I think I was informed of no bear. Because of course, yeah, okay, no, that's fine, keep going. <laughs> Won't question it. Bastard of a game. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so before perception was not reality, which means I had to turn around, now it is reality. Which means... You gotta find... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. this okay. please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight I'm sure they had a lot of fun making this game. Oh. Wait, what? That's just... Uh, it's just a fucking thing. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's just all in this room. Okay. So it cuts off over here. Nope. Cuts off everywhere. You gotta walk all four corners. There it is. Four clips in. See, a lot of them are smooth. This one's this one's a very janky effect. 
That one I'm actually disappointed with, considering how good the rest of the game's been. Boy, here we go. Where are we going? How many more dream levels can there be? It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. <laughs> hey. Now we're gonna... Uh, paradoxes. Okay. Warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Yeah, but I want to see. Should have left it there. Conception. Okay. All right. So can I use this power? Oh my god. Get somewhere small. Wait a second, can I? Oh my god, I can take it in this one. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Stage probably the only way out. None exit. No. Oh. That's cool. Well, screw it, so there's no exit, but let's find out.
Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Okay. Conception, deception. Female toads. That's what we need. Oh shit. Oh saying much. I'm just kind of soaking all of this in right now. I'm actually kind of impressed and taken away. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. some kind of elaborate ruse, nothing went wrong at all. Ah. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's go to the right. Or not. How about the left? No? It's 
far as I can tell, I'm just in a corridor now. Oh. Okay. God damn it. One turn. Present the three, it should be. Oh, I guess four. Um, hmm. What do I do here? Aside from just, just, I suppose, just how far back can I go? Not very. Oh. I can't go behind that one at all. Can I go behind the other side? Ah. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? This whole thing's a scam. Pick it up while you're on it. Stupid mistake.
Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that makes it real. Smart girl. Did not think of Oh, hang on. Hey! And now, once again, my cheese bridge comes to fruition. level on acid. Like most of this game, it would just freak you out. actually ticked over exactly as uh, this stream hit 1 hour and 26 minutes. As soon as that second ticked over, that clicked over to 8am. Because like, that's got to be it, right? I mean, you can't really trip out much more than that. Unless it just makes me watch Fantasia. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and yeah. by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Oh, man. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I had no idea what I was going to do. 
Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real, so how could it have really meant anything? But, just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. feel good message oh we get down with it Not a bad game, actually. I enjoyed that. That was a nice gimmick. After school special message at the end felt a little tacked on, but... Overall, not bad. I enjoyed that. Well, I think that's where we'll end that, then. Since it's done. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh god, I did the wrong thing. <laughs>